what did you get for your test? I I will tell you if you saw mine. Both please for that last one. Three, two, one. Really? Really? Idiot? You can't even get four on this test. Look, I got an eight. It's so well, easy. Well, nobody can be as perfect as you. Okay, yeah, but I am the smartest. You can't blame me for getting an eight. This is what I think about this test and your grades. Fix it or Suckle had punched Liakim in the face. This resulted in Liakim having a bruised cheek, bleeding gums, damaged teeth, and no bleed. He was rushed to the health center after a teacher saw him unconscious lying on the ground. The day after, Suckle was called to the principal's office. As punishment, he was suspended for a full week. Liakim also spent that week at home recovering. Sakul had become famous in grade 9 due to this incident. Liakim was also infamous for being a jerk, and Sakul had found himself a new friend, Nalid. Uh, hey Sakul, how's your suspension, man? Man, it's not good. Uh, my parents scolded me. Besides, it's not even my uh, fault. It's like Liakim. Uh, um, what are you gonna buy for lunch? Um, oh wait, there's this new food that's called Apple Pen. That second scene, it was focused on a fight between two close friends for a single item. During the fight, part of the scene, they both see an apple pen. This apple pen symbolizes a new product. This product they are fighting over <coughs> is the last one, and they fight for the last product. This symbolizes the fact that they are fighting over something. Something that this world, and it causes to break friendships. Greed has consumed them, has consumed them heavily, and made them fight. The next scene is where after the fight, they see someone else has taken the last apple pen. This shows a small feeling of regret on the heart. This shows a bit of physical damage and pain to others. James 3 verse 9 to 10 says, With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. This tongue is used as a weapon in this scene. But mostly, the physical damage is the one that we have seen the most. James 3 verse 2 says, We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. In this scene, Sakho could keep his body in check and hurt Nali. This caused a heavy consequence. Romans 12 verse 17 says, Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of someone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, you live at peace with everyone. This verse says for lots of people to live in peace and not to get revenge on anyone. In which Sakul did to Nalit after being pushed. That is revenge and that is a bad sign. A better response that Nalit could have had push, showed not to push Kalus at all. Immediately and after that, even though this new product, this one that they all wanted to try, so about it the next day. So what if it's a new product? If it's the next day, they could switch and everyone would have had one. It's just a small delay. Patience is a virtue here. 
and patience can save lots of people's lives. Also connecting it to be more tame to the tongue, Leonid should not have said those response, and it's bad words to him. It hurts Sakul pretty badly. And for Sakul, a more mature response would be better, not to complain at all. Even though he got a suspension, it's actually his fault, and he, and he doesn't want to take the blame for it. And as you can see, created troubles for both of them. They should have controlled their physical tongue and their body. As if not, then it could have gone better, way better. Now what's this? This scene right here relates to a lot of students. We all really want a good grade, like an 8 for a test. And in this first scene, Mayakim, he got an 8 for his test. Well, so cool, he only got 2. In reality, if both had just paid attention to what they said, no, the fighting would have occurred at all. The whole, see the whole reason that this fight started is because of Mayakim's care carelessness with his words. If he would not have said it, then it would all be fine. And looking at Sakul's great, he meanly insulted Sakul, telling him names and such. This is bad, you're not supposed to insult others. And because of this insult, Sakul became angry, enraged, and decided to go physical contact on Layakim. James 3 verse 5 says, Likewise, the tongue is a small part of our body, but it makes great boast. Consider what a great forest is on fire by a small spark. This perfectly captures the problem at hand. These few bad words spoken by Layakim had caused a huge fight between friends. We need to be able to keep our words in check. And we need not know whether it is right to say those words or not. And they would offend a person or even spark a fight. James 3 verse 8 says, But no human can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. The tongue is powerful and out of it, praises, curses can come out. We cannot have full control over it. We can only tame our tongues and we can only keep it in check. To avoid ourselves from saying insults, Proverbs 11 verse 12 says it perfectly, Whoever belittles his neighbor lacks sense, but a man of understanding remains silent. From this, we can see that Leakim and Sakul lacked sense. Because they lacked sense, they were not wise. Leakim had, in, had insulted Sakul first, without knowing the consequences that would be. So did Sakul after that. Instead of remaining silent or encouraging one another, they decided to belittle each other. A better, more, more mature response that Leakim first said would be to encourage Sakul to not be better, not make fun of his low grades. Instead of insulting him, Leakim could have tried to cheer him up. Make him happy and maybe even help him study after that. It's gonna be better. Lakim could have offered kind words to help him instead of directly insulting him in public. First of all, more mature response would be for him to calm, calm himself down, be more calm. Just ignore what Lakim had said. Like what, like what those verses said, that we cannot tame the tongue. We can at least keep it in check and be silent. So I'm lashing out back at Lakim, so Koko could have just walked away and remained silent and avoided a huge confrontation and fight.